Hey guys, it's Leah Buckles from Prestige Worldwide Medical Consulting. I am a physician assistant and U.S. Army veteran and former CMP examiner. I wanted to come on today and discuss kidney disease um, and kidney um, issues that are related to VA disability. Uh, so I recently did a blog on this. I don't know if any of you guys are following um, our blog on our website, but we basically did a blog that was entitled what you need to know about kidney disease and VA disability. So I'm going to flip my camera around and kind of show you guys that blog um, post. So if you look here, it, you know, basically we're going to talk about what is kidney disease. So, um, you know, it's a serious medical condition that can impact your overall health and well-being. Um, many veterans are service connected for kidney disease. Um, if you have this disease, it means your kidney function has been impaired, impacts your body's ability to um, you know, function, you filter your blood, help control your blood pressure, stuff like that, right? So there are a lot of different types of kidney disorders that can be re rated um, and related to VA disability, um, either because you developed them on active duty, um, because they are related to an exposure you had, perhaps Agent Orange exposure, um, whether you developed something secondary to another service-connected disability. Um, we did a video recently about hypertension and we talked about how high blood pressure can cause kidney disease as well. So there's lots of different types of kidney diseases, kidney cancers, um, impair different types of impairments. Um, there's a wide variety in this category. Um, you can have diabetic kidney disease if you're really if you're rated for diabetes and you've got diabetic kidney dysfunction. Um, so basically, how does the VA rate um, kidney disease? So I want to take a look at two different things. So first of all, we talked about going to the 38 Code of Federal Regulation, which is like the VA's um, regulation that shows different disabilities, right? So this is on VA.gov, right? So Come over here and we're gonna to go to the genital urinary system, right? So 38 Code of Federal Regulation, Book C, Schedule for Ratings, okay? Um, the genital urinary system. And it talks about ratings um, for dysfunction and based on diagnosis, okay? So if you open up both of these, which I have done in this other window over here, um, this is the rating for dysfunction. So when, renal is a word that we use in conjunction with kidney dysfunction, renal dysfunction, kind of same thing. Um, so it shows if you've got dysfunction, it shows the different percentages that you can get if you're on dialysis, for example. Um, you know, if you're having avoiding dysfunctions, if you're having, you know, that might be related to um, BPH, if you have urinary frequency, obstructed voiding, so these are all related to the function of the genital urinary system, right? Um, and, and it doesn't have to necessarily just be the kidney. If you're having avoiding dysfunction, you know, due to prostate abnormalities or other kind of things in your genital urinary system, your bladder, things like that, okay? And then there's also um, ratings for specific um, diagnosis, right? So if you had your kidney removed, um, if you have chronic pyelonephritis or kidney infections, uh, nef you know, kidney stones, right? Um, chronic kidney stones. Um, if you develop, um, you know, stricture of your ureter, cystitis, a lot of you may not have any idea what any of these conditions are, but if you've got a genital urinary condition, um, this is where you can kind of look at some of these things. Um, were they were they diagnosed on active duty? Um, are they related to another service connected disability? That kind of thing is Im is important to try to figure out. To me. okay, so we talked about where to look at the ratings um, that you can get rated based on the function and also based on the diagnosis. Um, I think that's about it. This is a pretty short video. I just wanted to let you guys know that there are a variety of um, genital urinary system disorders, whether it's related to the kidney, the bladder, or the ureters, um, that can be related to your service, whether they were diagnosed on active duty or secondary to another service-connected disability. Um, also, it, there are some presumptive um, 
you know, things relate, you know, if you've got prostate cancer related to Agent Orange, you might have some function abnormalities, right? You might have dysfunction avoiding because of your prostate cancer and things like that. So I hope this video was helpful um, on chronic renal disorders and genitourinary disorders. Um, please let me know if you guys have any questions and I will be sure to hop on and answer them whenever I get a chance. Thanks.